We're at Magic Kingdom in Tomorrowland and we're going to check out Carousel of Progress. I'll show you everything you need to know as a plus size person to navigate this attraction in comfort. And along the way, if I can provide some accessibility information, I'll do that too. Welcome to Pammy Plus Parks. I am Pammy, your plus size fairy godmother, bringing you all the magic Disney and Florida has to offer plus size people. And today we're gonna check out Carousel of Progress. A lot of you already know that the seats in this theater are notoriously narrow, and there's also a very tricky turnstile. I wanna show you all of that and how to navigate it in comfort as a plus size person. Okay, here are the turnstiles, and I just watched some average size people struggle to get through them. So I'm not going to use that. I'm gonna stand right over here and wait for the cast member to approach and let me in through here. Before we head into the line for Carousel of Progress, let me share some information about myself that will help you decide if this attraction will work for you. I am five feet four inches tall. I weigh 350 pounds. And I wear US women's sizes 30, 32, or a 4X, 5X. Well, guess what, my friends? There is actually at least one seat per theater that has a flip-up armrest that will accommodate a plus-size person. It is in the front row of this theater. So they're gonna show that to me, and that's where I'm going to sit for this ride. I had no idea this existed. Usually I am able to go on this without any issues. I flip the seat down with one of the standard seats and slide back into the seat. It's a little tight. It's not the most comfortable thing in the world, but it usually works for me. Let's see what this new seat looks like. Now, Carousel of Progress actually has several theaters, and each of the theaters rotates around. And of these theaters, there are two of them that feature seats with flip-up armrests. In each of those two theaters, there are two seats that have the flip-up armrests, one on either end of the first row. So we are gonna check that out in just a moment. Okay, while I'm waiting for this ride, I'm actually having a fantastic view. I got Buzz Lightyear over here, I got all the rest of Tomorrowland in front of me, and I have this amazing wall behind me that's very Instagrammable. I do want to mention to you that wheelchairs and ECBs are welcome in this queue. It's a very short queue. And they are also welcome inside the theater. All right, let's check this out, folks. Down in the front row, on the very end. Oh, there it is. It is labeled as an accessible seat. Let's have a quick look at this. That is magic. Look how easy that is to do. Let's take our seats and enjoy the show. I have to tell you, this seat is really so much more comfortable than trying to squeeze into one of the standard seats. Normally when I sit in one of these standard seats, I push it down like that, I sit on the edge, and then scoot back as far as I can. It works, it's okay, but it's not super comfortable. A lot of times I have to take my bag or my backpack and put it behind me because I can't sit all the way back in the seat. But with this flip-up armrest, I totally can. Okay, so a couple of quick things to wrap up this attraction. The seats with the armrests that lift up are super comfortable, but the view of the show is not the best view. You're still able to see a lot of the show. You're still able to enjoy the charm of it, but you're really going to be able to get your best view of the show from any seat in the theater that's located in the center of the row. But if comfort is more important to you than the view, but I would definitely try those seats with the armrests that lift up. Just make sure to check in with your cast member and they'll direct you to the correct theater. 